Ever dreamed of making consistent income in the stock market, but don't have $60,000 lying around to buy 500 shares of Target, even though you feel like, oh man, it's, it's on sale today, I need to get some. But what if I told you that you can get the same benefit and collect the same premium as a covered call without needing that upfront fortune? Well, it's called a poor man's covered call. And it's an option strategy that you can use to multiply your returns while keeping your costs low. And stay tuned because in today's video, I am going to show you exactly what a poor man's call covered strategy is, how it works, how you can use it to generate consistent monthly income, and not just that. I'm gonna get into my Robinhood account and I'm gonna show you step by step how I set it up. So make sure you watch till the end, okay? All right, so let's get started and let's talk about exactly what is a poor man's covered call. Well, if you know what a traditional covered call is, you have to buy 100 shares of a particular stock if you wanna sell covered calls against them to generate that income, right? So the problem with the traditional covered calls is you need high capital requirement. Owning 100 shares often costs tens of thousands of dollars. In the example that I'm gonna to use today in the trade that I'm about to make, it's on target, $122 a share. You do that times 100 shares, that's $12,000 to buy 100 shares. I wanna buy 500 shares, so that's gonna cost me $60,000, but I'm about to show you guys how you can do it for a fraction of that cost, okay? And again, nothing in this video is financial advice. It's all for inter informational and educational purposes only. All right. With traditional covered calls, again, you've got limited accessibility. Small traders are often priced out of profitable covered call strategies because you need to have a lot of capital up front. If you were going to do this on something like Home Depot or something, right? Yeah. Just 100 shares is going to cost you $40,000. You want to do Costco, right? You're going to need $92,000 to run that, you know, do a traditional covered call. But today we're focusing on target and I'm gonna show you guys how to do it with a fraction of that cost. So, and then real world example, I'm gonna show you guys, this is the trade that I'm gonna do. Traditionally, you'd need $12,300 for hundred shares of target to generate about $200 a month in premium. I'm gonna show you how to use a quarter of that, okay? And generate more income out of that per month. All right, so get ready, this is exciting. So what exactly is a poor man cover call? Well, I'm gonna to need to keep moving my picture around. So. What you do is step number one is you buy a deep in the money call option, all right? And I like to buy them at right around 80 delta. And I'll explain to you once we get into the exact example, I'll show you exactly how delta matters. And I like to buy these out 12 to 24 months out. The expiration date, it's after a year, after two years, okay? These are called leap options. So you buy a deep in the money leap call option. And then once you own that, you sell a near-term call option, which is the covered call to generate that income to collect that premium. And that I like to do right around 20 to 30 delta with 30 to 45 days out. And if I feel like, hey, there's some movement going to happen, I'll even do it less, less time. So this way I'm earning weekly income off of this stuff, okay? And this is where you collect premium and generate income similar to traditional covered calls, but at a much lower cost because when you buy the deep in the money call, it's like a synthetic way of owning 100 shares because when you buy a call, you have control over 100 shares. So now you can sell calls against it instead of owning 100 shares. And this is where the real world example is going to come in because I think, you know, you guys can watch a lot of videos and all that stuff exactly figuring out how the concept of this works, but you need to know exactly how to set it up in Robinhood because a lot of people use Robinhood for my smaller portfolio, I use Robinhood. For my bigger portfolio, I use Schwab. So I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to do this in your Robinhood account, okay? So if I'm gonna end up buying the $105 strike price target in the money leap option, and roughly that's gonna cost me around $3,200 instead of $12,000 that would cost me right now to purchase that 100 shares. And then against that, I'm going to sell a $130 call option that's gonna be expiring in nine days. It's gonna be expiring next week, so this way I can run this every week and generate weekly income instead of waiting for a month, okay? And for that, roughly it's gonna generate me about $88. Once we actually get into the option chain, we'll see the real numbers. So uh, let's get into that real quick. So here's Target. Earnings came out and Target tanked. The company, I still like Target. You know, it's a great place. Like I shop at Target, so I'm, I'm always a big believer that, you know what? I like to invest in things that I know, but you have to do your research. And this is where tools like Market Chameleon come in play. So, you know, I went into, my, into the Market Chameleon software 
And I've got a link to it in the description below if you guys want to check it out. I use Market Chameleon to do a lot of my stock research. When I go into Market Chameleon, this is what the homepage is going to look like. I go into type in the stock symbol target. First thing I want I look at is I want to look at basically their fundamentals. I want to look at the fair value of the company. See, see where, you know, what it's looking like. And based from historical multiples, the implied value of this stock is $198.86 and it's currently trading at about $121.82, which is a 38% discount. So I feel like personally, I feel like Target's undervalued. So, you know, if I buy an in the money deep call option for this, I have two years to play it out because I'm going to buy it way in advance. Okay. So, you know, if it's selling at a discount, I'm all for it. The other thing you need to look out for is the volatility. The volatility is something that it can benefit you as it's increasing because when you buy a call option, when the volatility increases, so does the value of that call option. When the volatility is low, that's when you want to buy it. And when the volatility is high, you want to sell that because you're going to collect more premium. So when I look at this right here, because of earnings, volatility already had the crash, right? Because of the earnings. And it should stay right around here or just go down a little bit, keep going up. And it's going to it's going to do that up and down right around earnings volatility strike, you know, goes up, then it crashes, goes up, crashes. So right now, since we're kind of going towards the low, I feel like it's a good place for me to be able to purchase this. So I'm going to go into my Robinhood account. Let me move my pip my picture again just to make sure that you're able to see all of this stuff so target right now is trading at 122.05 first thing i'm going to do i'm going to go into trade target options i'm going to buy call and in the expiration date i'm going to go as far out as i can 786 days january 15 2027 today is november 20th 2024 okay so well over two years so about two years and two months so now I don't know when you guys are watching this, so please do not copy this trade. And if you guys want to get notifications of these kind of trades live, join my Patreon. I've got a link to it in the description below. So yeah, join my online community. As soon as I execute this trade, I'm going to pause this for a second and I'm going to go ahead and post it in my Patreon for my, for my members. So I don't know when you guys are watching it, so do not copy this. This is just an example. So I picked the expiration date, January 15, 2027. Buy, call, and I'm going to go down to, uh, I think when I did my research, yep, 105. So I'm going to do the 105. And this is where this comes in handy, right? This is where we look at the delta. I like the delta to be 80 or above. What that means is every dollar the stock goes up, this option contract is going to go up by 81 cents, all right? Because the delta is 0.81. So this way I can enjoy some appreciation in these options too while I'm collecting my premium. So now the cost of it, Yes, you see $34 over here, but again, each contract controls 100 shares. So that's $34 times 100, which is $3,400. So when you click purchase by here, you'll see the cost comes out to $3,400. Your total cost right here, right, comes out to $3,395 because that's what the going rate is right now. Remember how it's like 500 shares going to cost about $60,000 because you're looking at $122 times 500. This is where this becomes a lot of fun, right? So again, even with 100 shares, if you did 100 shares, it would cost you $12,000. Uh, under control of 100 shares right now is costing you $3,390. Makes a big difference. So that's why I'm going to do 500 shares. 500 shares times $122. That is $61,000. I'm going to do five contracts right here, and that's going to cost me roughly around $16,000, $17,000. I'm good with that, okay? Because I think Target is undervalued and I, you know, I'd, I wanna make some income off of this stuff. So when, when you're in Robinhood and doing this, it's gonna, of course, tell you to go for the highest price. I like to go for the middle, okay? Because the bid is at 3110, the ask is at 3360. I'm gonna try to get this for, let's see, 3210, or actually $32. Okay, let's see if it gets executed at $32. Yep, I got it at 32. So no need to pay 33.50, right? That's a dollar 50, so $150 times 5. Yeah, if I did what they were recommending, I would have spent an extra $750. So usually whenever I do this, I go for the middle, see if it executes. If it doesn't, I just keep bumping it up by like 5 cents. Okay? Now, 
I own control over 500 shares of Target, right? There you go. I've got five buys at the 105 strike call. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to sell my covered calls against that. And I'm going to go into next week for November 29th. And I'm going to sell the $130 out of the money call options. So right now for that premium, it's looking like for that, I can collect $70. Yes, it said 70 cents, right? Again, 70 cents times 100 shares. That's $70. I'm going to continue. And because I own five of the deep in the money leap leap options do five and now this because i'm selling these i'm not going to sell it at 70 i'm going to try to get more premium for it. so the middle price would be 72 cents so let's try it at 72 cents and for this i'm going to collect 359 dollars in premium right so and i'm going to run the math with you guys over this so you can see exactly why it makes such a big difference to do this instead of a traditional covered call for people that have smaller accounts, okay? So let's see if it executes. Yep, got my premium. So now let's run some numbers. So let me pull out the calculator. That's $359, right? So target, let's look at the history. It'll show all my trades, right? Yeah, so I collected $360 and this cost me $15,865 to get in. Now, if I was to buy 500 shares of target, right? It would cost say 122 times 500, $61,000. Let's scroll back down. And I collected $360. 360 divided by 60, 61,000. You see what a small return that is? But that's in a week. That's still pretty damn good, okay? Because if you do that in a week and you do that 52 times a year, that's a 32% return a year if you were able to do that week in, week out theoretically. Now, you take that same $360, and now if I divide it by $15,865, that's a 2.2% return in nine days and just a little over a week, right? So if you can do that per week times 52 weeks times 100, right, for the percentage, that is 118, almost 118% return in a year compared to what we saw earlier. That is the power of leverage with a poor man's covered call, which is also called the PMCC. So yeah, hopefully you guys learn how to execute this step-by-step -step in this video. And, and let's, before, before we end it, let's, let's go over, you know, the role of implied volatility. We talked about that. And then just understand your strategy. Assess your risk tolerance because, you know, options can be risky. Make sure that, you know, you don't over leverage yourself. Practice with paper trading first and then start off with a small amount, right? Because each contract for this, yeah, it was only going to cost like 3000 some dollars, right? I just bought five of them. That's why it cost me 16 grand or else, you know, with one contract, you could still do this and use $3,000 in capital instead of $12,000. So you see what a big difference that makes. And then of course, monitor and adjust as needed. And if you guys want to see my live trades and want to join my online community where we can have discussions about these kind of things and you can see the exact trades that I'm making, make sure you check out the link in the description below and I will see you on the next one.